Good morning, good morning. It is day 21 on the Camino Frances here in France. Today, after taking a rest day yesterday, I feel ready to tackle another 30 plus kilometer day with great weather because we got blue skies, but I'm sure the path is gonna be a river of mud. But it doesn't matter because I'm gonna be in great company today. And of course, we're starting another stage on the journey. The first one was from Le Pew to Conk, from Conk to Condon, and then from Condon, where are we heading? St. John Piedipur. That's right, let's do it. If you're new to the channel or you just discovered me because you're walking from Condon to St. John Piedipur, then welcome. My name is uh, Efren Gonzalez. I'm a travel adventure vlogger. I've done a few of the seven summits, the Inca Trail, the lost city in Colombia, many, many Caminos in Spain, the Via Francigena, and the first 1,000 kilometers on the Appalachian Trail. And now, currently, I'm on the Via Podiensis, or the GR65, or the Camino de Santiago, or the Chemin de Pew. So many names for the same path, and it's a beautiful one. This morning, I'm on the lookout for a pharmacy because I have a little bit of a stiff neck, still. I don't know why the pillows here in France are super thin, and I'm a side slipper. So I don't know, I'm having issues, so I need some ibuprofen just to ease the pain a little bit. Also, leaving town around 8.30, a little bit later than I wanted to, but I had to have breakfast at the hotel, which was just a buffet. So I have my uh, chocolatine uh, with some uh, cheese, orange juice, and of course, cafe con leche. It is a little bit windy today, but I'm not expecting it to get too hot, maybe mid 70s Fahrenheit. And uh, I'm also not expecting any rains, but who knows? I could just jump cut right now and I'm under a downpour. No? Okay, great. Whew. What I'm expecting is that there will be blood. I mean, there will be mud, plenty of mud. After uh, yesterday's rain, I'm so glad that I'm walking on a back country road and I'm gonna enjoy it for as long as I can. Did not find the pharmacy, but there are plenty of small towns along the way. We'll see. It didn't take long to reach the muddy path and also the first uh, town of the day which, uh, by the way, the name is Amelie. Huh? Where? That's right. No, Amelie. Amelie went home the day before yesterday. So Google, help me out here. La Ressangle. That is the one. It is not actually on the path. It's like 10 minutes away and I guess 10 minutes back. And on a 30 plus kilometer day, I did not want to add extra kilometers to my day. So instead, I flew there with my drone, of course. Uh, it was about a kilometer or so away, so I have very little reception. And when I saw two hunters pass me by, I knew it was time to come back just to avoid, you know, an incident. So it hasn't rained, but it has drizzled just a little bit. I don't know if it's just the water coming down from the trees. So I have to keep an eye out for that. I have my umbrella there right next to my Insta360 camera. And I also have my poncho. Where is it? On this side, there it is. I have it ready just to grab it and pull it out like a parachute. 
I've been seeing uh, new faces uh, today because most of the people that I was walking with are either in front of me or most of them just call it quits already. Most of the people doing the, this Camino just do sections at a time and then they go back home. We are in September, getting close towards the end of September, so most of the French that took vacation have to go back either to school or to work. Gotta be careful here because it's slippery. Quick stop at the 25% of the way for today at this uh, rest stop and I decided to have a little bit of snack. This is like where I carry the food for the day. I have some cheese here, I have a banana, I have uh, an avocado, some tomatoes and of course some creme brulee. Comes with a caramel in this little pocket. I've been buying this at the supermarket like crazy because I'm a little bit hooked on them. I have them sometimes for uh, breakfast, but they also come in handy for a snack along the way. I think the, the food here in France is just outstanding. You know, it is better than Don the Camino, at least the food along the way. You know, maybe if you go to a city, to a restaurant in Spain, you could have a great meal. But if you just stick to the menu del Pellegrino for 11 euros, you're not even gonna come close to what we're having here. Delicious. Pharmacy is closed, the bakery doesn't have any bread, this town seems to be shuttered down. But it is Sunday and Sundays in France, almost everything is closed. When I head over to uh, the central square, where there's a few uh, bars and see if I can get a bite to eat. If there's something, if there's a tip or a recommendation that I can give you guys from my trip, is that always buy supplies at the supermarket. No matter what, if you don't use them, it's fine. But there are moments like this where you're just gonna be walking for kilometers on end and you won't find anything. No water today also, so be prepared. That was a great lunch there at the plaza. I hit my supplies and I had some ham, I had half an avocado, I had chips, I had uh, tomatoes, and of course, creme brulee. Then I crossed the street and I went to the bar where I had an orangina, and I was surprised that I could not find like a water source in town. Maybe it was there, maybe I just didn't see it. Stopped really quickly at the church just to take a quick look inside. You know, after seeing so many, they all start to look uh, the same. Uh, leaving town right after that and uh, the sun is out and it is blasting, but at least we have the protection of the canopy, at least for the time being. Halfway through the day already and I feel like the rest is just gonna go by in a snap.
I'm at the 75% of the way for today. And uh, ever since I left uh, the town of Montreal, it's just been magical walking under the canopy of the forest through a narrow path. And every now and then it opens up into like vineyards. And it's just an amazing view all around. I can't imagine doing this like yesterday when it was a rainy day. It would have been such a different experience. But today, it's just one of those days that I'm going to remember. The elevation profile is not difficult at all, so the 34 kilometers are going by super fast. Now, soon after I stopped recording, I made it to this little uh, oasis in the middle of nowhere where I got another orangina and an almond pie. There were all the pilgrims there uh, taking a break and there was a friendly dog. I refilled my water bottle for the first time today at the cemetery right next to it. And there's a church here behind me and there's an activity going on. I don't know what it is, but right here, check this out. Do you know what this is? This is actually like a pilgrim's uh, game, like a board game. And I see over there Rome and I see over here, where is it? London. I walked from London to Rome already on the Via Francigena. Let's check out the game. There was a little moment there when it started raining. Yes, drizzling. It got a little bit intense. I had to put away the drone and all the electronics. And I was like, oh no. But then it stopped. I've been on my own for the majority of the day. And the few people that I've seen, I do not recognize. Today, it sort of feels like when I did my first Camino, the Camino Frances, it, fe it feels like when I got to uh, Santiago de Compostela and I said goodbye to everybody, and then the day after, when I started walking to Fisterra, it is the same feeling. It kind of feels like it's over time, like I should have ended the journey already, but I'm continuing on. I know it is not the end of my journey. I still got, like, what is it, like two weeks to go until I make it to Logroño in Spain, but that's how it feels today, you know? When you start walking with a group of people and little by little they start leaving, 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 and then all of a sudden you're on your own. That's how it feels like. Amazing walk today, man. I have to say, it is not flat, but it is the flattest that is felt since I got to walk by the canal. A few days behind, if you guys remember, Today has just been an easy day and just walking in this place. I mean, look at this behind me. Look at this in front. It's been like this for kilometers on end. It's like the green tunnel on the AT. It's not raining now, but who knows? I should be getting to town maybe in an hour or less. Last time I checked by that jeet where they had the snacks, it was like seven kilometers. And I think I already did half of that. So yes, maybe half an hour, we'll see. Can't wait to get to uh, the G today. Maybe get to know new faces, new people. Maybe these are the people that I will get to walk all the way to St. John Pierre de Port. Who knows, right? Just gotta keep an open mind. It's 
charming little town, but it has a ghostly feeling to it. There's very few people out on the streets. I'm here in the main square and there's a cafe with just a few customers. I got into town at 5 p.m. after walking 35 kilometers. It's always more than what the guidebook says. I think it is the longest day that I've done so far, but it wasn't that difficult at all. I have my own room. Actually, a German guy showed up when I thought I had it all to myself. And for the first time on the trip, I got to the Jeet before my luggage. I would have freaked out, but I was going into the Jeet and I saw the transport service show up and the guy get out of the car with my luggage in his hand. So all was uh, good. There's a dinner at the Jeet, so I don't have to worry about finding a restaurant and making a reservation. But what I am looking out for is a supermarket because I want to get some supplies for uh, tomorrow. There's also a laundry mat right next to the Jeet, but I did laundry yesterday, so I don't have to worry about laundry for the next four days or so. So, yeah. What a great night. We just had a communal dinner. It was like five of the pilgrims and myself and the host. And of course, nobody spoke either English or Spanish. So it was all Google Translate. We had like a three course meal, starting it off with a, a salad, very elaborate salad, and then some shredded beef and fries. And we ended it with a dessert that I can't, I don't even know what it was, but it was just uh, delicious. At the end, we had some Amagnac, I thought it was cognac, and everybody kind of like gave me a face. <laughs> but it was just uh, like this shot, kind of like a tequila shot. It was very strong. It was very good. And uh, that's how we ended the night. And of course, I want to thank Thomas for being the trail angel today. Thank you so much, uh, Thomas. As I made my way up to the second floor to get my second uh, pilgrim passport because the first one already filled up, I met this uh, English guy that's like 75 and he's stranded here in this town because his car broke down. Very like movie-like. And after having a long conversation, he gave me this small bottle of Armagnac as a present. So incredible how things turn out here. So yes, tomorrow we got a very short 21 kilometer day. It's gonna be easy. And then we're gonna follow it with like three 30 plus kilometer days. So I guess I'll see you all tomorrow morning at 7.30 sharp.